Hey, somebody, have you seen it? Yes, you have, because she's right here. Thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs> Sorry. Yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know the vibes. I'm back. I did a game with another motherfucking YouTube video. You know the vibes. That's so cliche, but honestly, I like saying it. I'm back. I did a game with another YouTube video. Yo. But yes, before we get into this video, make, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below to, so I know what you want to see, 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 okay? Okay? Make sure your mother, your brother, sister, your uncle, and everybody else in your Snapchat story, your Facebook story, your Instagram follows me on YouTube. Subscribe, okay? But if you want to see more about my life, or like the shit that I talk about on Snap, then you know you can follow me on Snap. <laughs> if I know how to put the video shit up, then I'll probably try and put it up somewhere on here. And you can follow me on Instagram, you know, for cute pictures because I'm a bad bitch and I be pussy stuff and you know what I'm talking about. But on, let's get into this video. So in my last video, I basically talked about everything I was doing in 2019 and what I had accomplished and all this other bullshit, or whatever. This video, I'm gonna actually expand on one of the things, the biggest topics I was talking about and the biggest things that changed. But it was going to college, bitch, yes, ew. Purchase college, purchase, purchase college, ew. Purchase college, purchase, purchase college, ew. Conservatory of theater and performance, you know the fucking vibes. You know the vibes. <laughs> Period. You know, I just finished my first semester too. And I just feel like a bad bitch. Like, I just love, I love my college. I love Precious College. And at first, I wasn't even gonna go there. Like, I was going to Ithaca College, as you guys know. I was like, I knew, I thought I wanted to go, I knew I wanted to go to Ithaca College since last year, since the beginning of like looking for schools. Purchase, it was Ithaca College. And then the second school I found was Purchase College. Those are the, basically the first two schools I found. And I was like, something about those two schools stayed in my mind. And I looked at the other one, Binghamton, Cornell, which I thought I would know again to because mine is stupid. Um, Potsdam, uh, Queens College, um, what else? I think Buffalo, Buffalo State. Um, there was other ones, uh, some other shit. Oneonta, all these other schools. But it was just Ithaca and Purchase were at the top of my list. Now I knew I was I knew I was gonna get into I don't know what what told me I was gonna get into Ithaca because Ithaca is a score. Their SAT was way higher than my SAT. Like the one that they wanted was way higher. But I had I know I had good grades, so I was like, you know, maybe I can get into an EOP program. Bitches denied me of EOP, but then somehow accepted me regular admissions, which was interesting. But I think it's because I was black. But they didn't even know I was black. Oh, they didn't know I was black because my interview, oh yeah, I forgot I had to audition. That's why they probably, because for that school, you have to audition for the BA program. So I had to audition for the BA program, which is probably why I got into that school because my my grades was not that good. But I got to, I got into the preliminary rounds, which was like a thousand, a whole bunch of kids auditioned for that. And then I had to go and do another one. They broke it down to 50 people, 50 kids. And then I got, I got that one. And then I had to send a letter in and then I got, I was accepted, I saw my letter too. I was not playing no game. And I got accepted and then Purchase accepted me. I had to just do a video for Purchase. Purchase, I didn't have to audition for the video program. But Purchase accepted me and I was like, I'm going to Ithaca, that's it. I was so excited, I was so hyped. When I left, I was like, mm. And um, yeah, um, I ended up not going to Ithaca because it was just too much money. They gave me a lot though, they did give me a lot of money, but they don't go full aid, so. Whatever, I'm a broke ass bitch from the projects in Brooklyn, so I don't know what you expect me to, how you expect me to pay $10,000 out of pocket. And I was not taking no private loans for no theater degree. I mean, honestly, I would've. If, if, if Purchase didn't come by, which I have a story, but that, that's something I'm, I'm gonna tell you about Purchase, but if Purchase didn't come through, I probably would've been at Ithaca, and I would've probably took out them damn loans, because I did not care, I was not going to a CUNY. It was not, no problem going to a CUNY, it was just I didn't want to stay home, I wanted that new experience, I wanted to be on my own, I did not like people telling me what to do. So yeah, um, but Purchase, I feel like, was the perfect option for me. I love my advisors, I love my, like, um, counselors, they're, like, the best. I love the new friends that I made, oh my god, I love them so much, you know. But yeah, Purchase is honestly last, it was like, I wasn't last minute, I got accepted, I went to, because I got accepted to her EOP program, but I got accepted on the day of, the day of, literally I got accepted, but she wanted more paperwork. So, um, I basically took, it took me to, like, March to get all of here working, and then I didn't hear from the school for like a really long time. So I'm stressing, like, I, I, like, like March, February passes, March pa 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 passes, then May comes, which decision day is in May, and purchase college still didn't accept me, like, I mean, they accepted me, like, on by email, but like, I didn't get the no, I didn't get none of that, I didn't, I was not enrolled yet, I don't think. And honestly, the one, 
the final day I got enrolled was June, I think it was June 20 something. With June, it was before I left school. And the Thunder finally came in and was like, you have been accepted to purchase college, congratulations. I was like, ah! Bitch, I started screaming and yelling. I was so hype, oh my God. I was so hyped, like, oh, uh, like I really told myself, I was, I'm gonna get into all the schools I put my mind to, and I got into both of them. I said, I wanna go here, I wanna go here. I didn't really give a fuck about other schools. I just had to apply to 20 schools. I was like, let me just apply to them. Cause I, ha Cause I had the opportunity to, and a lot of kids didn't get the opportunity to apply to 20 schools for free. So I was like, let me just apply to all these schools, and I did, I applied, I, I, I busted my ass, I got good grades, took three AP classes as a senior, was working a whole job, I had dance and acting classes, was running track, um, I was just doing a lot, and I was, I, I'm so proud of myself, like of everything that I was able to accomplish, cause I didn't have mommy and daddy, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have a lot of support and I really had to like make shit work. Like I had to go and get shit for myself. Like I was not sitting down waiting for nobody to be like, oh, you need help. Okay, let me help you with this. Oh, you are, or, oh, you have to do this. You have to, no bitch. I was in the college office every single motherfucking day. I was in my, I was doing all my homework. I was working cause I had to feed, I, bitch. If I didn't work, I would have no food in my motherfucking stomach. Like that's how serious it was. It wasn't no, oh, you just gotta, oh, come to school and leave school and go hang out with friends. No, it was my, my childhood was not like that. So all this shit matters more to me and I know I'm gonna make it in life. I know I'm gonna be a big one day because I know that I'm not afraid to go and get shit. Nothing was ever handed to me. I didn't go to a school, which a lot of kids in my new school went to schools that are performing arts schools, which is great for them. That's amazing. They had more opportunities. They didn't have to go out and get things for themselves because it was already available for them. All you have to do is go sign up for it. Oh, oh, look, this, they have this, or they were trained in it in school already. With me, I had to go get my own dance class. I had to go work to pay for my dance lessons. I had to um, find my acting teacher, find my vocal coach, find those things myself. Nobody handed those out to me. Nobody said here you go Timothy literally I had to go search them shits up I had to go make sure I was able to pay for all my dance classes um I had to work I had to do all my homework I would go leave school go to practice from three to three o'clock three twenty six to uh what six o'clock and then I would go from to work from like 7 30 to like 12 or 1 in the morning and then I would do homework go to sleep wake up the next day do all that shit all over again the weekend would come I would go to track races I was really busting my ass so that's why I'm just, I feel like I was so proud of myself, especially to the, the fact that I was able to get into both of my schools, not having the best GPA, not having the best SAT scores, but honestly, the, my freaking, all the shit that I was able to talk about on my college essay was real shit. I just, everybody's a college essay was real shit, but I just feel like I really had to work my ass off to get to where I was at today. Like it, and it's not, it's not anybody else's fault that they had more than I had. Like that's really good for them. Like. I wish I, I wish I had more help. I wish I didn't have to do all the things that I had to do. I'm not like saying, oh, I went through this, I went through that. So my experience is better than yours. But like, I just feel like I really had to work and it all means more to me because I know that I put the work and I know that I worked for everything that I have. And like, when I get all those things that I want in life, it's gonna just mean the world to me, I don't know. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, but basically, purchase college is like, I feel like it was one of the best decisions I made. I love the school. I love my roommate. You know, New. I love New. Uh, that's like, he's like my little brother, honestly. Well, he's older than me, I think, but he's my little brother because I'm 6'3 and he's 5'5 five, five or 5'6, five, like, little ass nigga. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I love purchase. Um, there's a lot of things that, I don't know, I think I'm gonna expand on in other videos, like boys and school and classes and all that other stuff. Like, I love all my, I like, my first semester was, oh God, Jesus. Yo, it wasn't that bad. I didn't have a lot of theater class. I had one theater class because I had, my schedule was made so late because I wasn't accepted for a very long time until like the last minute. So I didn't get to choose any of my classes. And, um, my theater professor, oh my God, I could not stand that lady in the beginning. Oh my goodness, I had, I wanted to drop the class. Dude, I really could not, I couldn't stand her. But she was so annoying, like, she always had some shit to say to us and she never greeted any of her work. But towards the end, I found like, I found, I started liking her more and more towards the end. Like, honestly, I'm glad I didn't drop the class because a bitch, I was gonna drop. Like, I was getting check minuses on her projects, her tests, I got an F. Like, my first F ever. I've never got an F in my life. Like, bitch, I don't get Fs. <laughs> no, ew. But she gave me an F. Like, how dare you? Do you know who I am? Excuse me? But she gave me an F. I was not having it. I was in my feelings for a very long time. And then, honestly, I don't know. Something happened. Something changed. I was able to get to know her more. I had to go to more of her office hours. And once you connect a personality to that person, like, 
Look, I didn't know who she was. I could not care the fuck less. Like, bitch, give me my motherfucking good and I'm paying you to teach me, so teach me, bitch. But honestly, once I got to, like, know her and who she was, like, she was actually a really down-to-earth person. And, like, I feel like when once she got to know me and who I was, then we were able to connect and we were able to see where we were coming from. And she knew that I didn't come from one of these suburban schools with all these motherfucking text, like, bitches don't even work with textbooks, bitches work with tablets and shit in them motherfucking schools. I came from a poor ass, small ass school in Brooklyn where bitches, I had to work really hard and I wasn't at the top tier and I'm, and I have a learning disability and I had to work twice as hard to get mediocre grades. Like, I was not the kid who could come into class and, you know, copy off of friends when out of class and then come to class and then take a test and then do really good on it. I was not that kid. I was the kid that had to go home and study my ass off for a test and get an 85 um, with, a, who, with a kid right next to me who didn't do shit and would do this and basically got the same grade as me. Like, that's the type of student I was. And once she, once she got to know that I wasn't like, cause I feel like in the beginning, you know, teachers need to see how their kids are. Teachers know before you even know what type of kid, uh, what type of student you are. Like they know if you're a student who don't do shit. You don't, they know if it's you're the student who's gonna wait till last minute to ask them for extra credit to have your grade pulled up. So I think she didn't know who I was. She couldn't really figure it out until I talked to her. And then towards the end, I she's seen how hard I worked and. Yeah, I put that shit together and I got a B, bitch. I went from having a D to a B. And that's a motherfucking period. <laughs> so I gotta take it again. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that was my first that was like it was it was my first semester was it was cute. It was cute, it wasn't bad. I I feel like I could have done better. My last my gender studies class, I could have done way better. I could have got a way higher average if I didn't fucking fail my damn final. And honestly, I didn't even fail. Really, I passed. I actually would have got a hundred if I would have finished it because the part, the section that I, it's two, it was three sections. I did the first section and the second section, and both of those sections are worth forty points. Plus, you get like ten points extra for like grammar and shit if you do good grammar. So I only did the first two parts, and they're worth forty points. I got forty-two points. So if I would have finished, I probably would have got like a good ninety. But my ass didn't have time. I didn't have time to finish. I was really grinding. I was like up all night because I had to do a twelve-page paper, then I had to do a six-page paper, then I had to do a whole project. Then I had to do a, um, a presentation, and then I had to do another paper for my other college writing class. Like, a bitch was, I was put shit in my ass, literally. Like, I had so much shit that to get done. So, I don't know, I feel like I could have done better, but overall, my first college year experience or whatever was really good. My dorm room was so cute. I think I have a video of, like, a little video I'm gonna insert here of, like, my first, my dorm room. <laughs> It was so cute, and it's, next semester is going to be even more cuter. But yeah, I think I think that's the end of this video. I just want to get on here and tell you guys about my college. You know, it's like two hours away from New York City, so it's cute or whatever. But yeah, um, <coughs> if you guys want to hear like more videos about like, college, and like if you guys want to hear about like the kissing experience and all that other stuff, and like boys and I don't know. Just like college in general, just leave a, like leave comments down below. Just tell me exactly what you want to know, exactly what videos you want to see, and I'm gonna get them done for you guys. But as I always say to everybody, have you seen her? Yes, you have, because she's right here. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Sorry. Here we go.